Jim Calhoun in his 25th season as the head coach at UConn and seems to be enjoying this squad as much as he has any in the past decade. Kemble Walker, Jeremy Lamb, Roscoe Smith, Tyler Olander, three freshmen, and Alex Oriaki, the sophomore. And for San Diego State, a stellar record of 34 and 2. DJK, Chase Tapley, Kawhi Leonard, Billy White, who's been on a tear, and Malcolm Thomas, block, uh, blocking special. Steve Fisher in his 12th season and celebrating his 66th birthday today. This game is brought to you in HD TV by LG. Life's good. The officiating crew who have advanced as teams do in the tournament. Saw their names, Tom O'Neill, Steve Olson, Patrick Adams, the uh, alternate official, Greg Nixon. And right now we see the full court. Minute minute pressure. Uh, by San Diego State. Got to be careful, try and get into Walker's hands. Jeremy Lamb. He's really improved his handle, too. You can see they can rest Walker a little, let him play off the ball, as you'll see when Napier comes in. Lamb looked for the entry pass, not there. Now here's Kemba Walker. Number 15. Interesting, Tapley on him. We'll probably see Billy White on him eventually, too. Well, the inevitable comparisons, here's Walker for three. Misses on his first attempt at the ball game. And Kawhi Leonard forces the pace for San Diego State. Little crossover, good Ready. defensive help. And a fine defensive job altogether. It's out of bounds against the Aztecs. Yukon ball. But I like Leonard's attack at a rim, though, for very strong and noted on the open that his jump shot and his three have certainly increased. Bill, there have been inevitable comparisons between Kemba Walker and Jim Fredette. They're in everybody's player of the year conversations. Well, San Diego State played BYU three times. They opened. Now, here's the switch. But they had they had uh, DJ Gay over in the corner. Back outside, Olander. Kemba Walker drives by Billy White. Off the glass. No good rebound. This is where they're dangerous. Jumper. No. Kawhi Leonard with the putback. Aztecs early lead. They push and chase it. Very aggressive team. Now it's DJ Gay on land. They had hoped to establish Oriaki early. They're settling deep though, and why not? Land. Chops. I'll get it quick. <laughs> get it early. Yeah. Get it out of my system. Very talented youngster. All right, you're entitled to give me a raspberry. They like to enter on the elbow, guard around, occasionally dive to the rim. Leonard up and under. <laughs> Kawhi Leonard played two high school playoff games on this floor. He grew up in Riverside, California, about 15 minutes away. Well, they're going to have to keep him away from the rim. He's been able to blow by. Nice entry. Olander, nice turnaround. Uh, he can do some things. It's aggressive at the rim, can step out a little bit, pick and pop. Olander, a freshman out of Mansfield, Connecticut. Thomas being guarded by Oriaki. He can step out and get some shots. And he fade away Leonard, rebound UConn. Well, that's what he has to do, Oriaki. Seal the deal. Typically, this is a very good UConn rebounding team led by Oriaki. Who's second in the Big East? He's averaging nine per game. And so Walker, he refuses and splits the ball screen. Very clever. Keeps the dribble alive. Now they're switching. Here's Billy White out on Kimball Walker. That's his move. Seen that before? Yep. Frequently. In and out. Leonard with a rebound. That's three rebounds in the early going for Kawhi Leonard. Billy White, three double doubles in his last three games. Good yeah. driver. And off to a quick start. Billy White, kind of an enigmatic player, called into Steve White's office, Steve Fisher's office a month ago, and was shown video cutups 
of his lack of aggressiveness going after rebound. Ah, foul called on Leonard. Little nickel dimer over there having some words, too. Uh, this guy is going to hurt himself, and he pounds his chest harder than anybody in the country, particularly after a dunk that jump shot he was whacking away. Known as a defender, can step out, brings a lot of juice to this club. Imagine he had three double doubles in succession. They're going to tee like they couldn't stop talking. Uh -huh. And Oriaki now applauding. He's got to be careful. Uh, Steve Fisher saying, Come on, guys, let's take it easy. Let our guys settle into this game. Ooh, number two. That's a technical, and that's the second foul on Kawhi Leonard. See if Steve Fisher pulls him. You know, Vern, what I like about both these coaches, we can talk to them about medicine, hips, knees, you name it. Yeah, they're in the stratosphere with us. <laughs> Jim Calhoun is 68. Steve Fisher, 66 today. Two oldest coaches in the tournament. The technical foul called on sportsmanlike conduct, and they tagged Kawhi Leonard. So Kimball Walker. Let's get these refs on at a production meeting, huh? <laughs> That's a fairly rare miss. Mm -hmm. Now we'll come back and shoot the foul. And, you know, nerves are such an important part, how you control yourself out of the gate. And one thing, San Diego State with a good start, they've got to calm down a little. And conversely, some open looks by Kemba haven't been knocked down. Normally, he does convert those. Well, San Diego State's best player goes to the bench. We have not played four minutes. Oriaki with a very stiff arm. Got away with it. Oh, and, did he ever. My and gracious. And they were running a double for Kemba Walker. I don't want that shot when he got him coming off the screen. Rahan is on the floor now, James Rahan. Good shooter. Well, he's going to get some fouls out there. Yeah, he cheap ones if he's not careful. Chase Tapley, number 22. Well, it makes him tough. He can make the threes, too. Big day against Temple, particularly early. He had three early ones. Now Tapley's back on Kimball Walker. This is the man who guarded Jimmer Fredette in the first two games. And they send three or four different guys at the start. So Walker better not uh, make too close an acquaintance to Tapley. He's going to go by bye, bye We welcome you back to Anaheim, where we are joined by Leslie Visser. Les? Thank you, Vern. Well, right before the game in the locker room, the last thing that Steve Fisher told his team was to mix mental toughness with confidence. He told them to expect success and that this would be a memory for all time. Well, as for the technical on Kawhi Leonard, that is the first unsportsmanlike technical that he has ever drawn. He's basically known, Vern, as a yes sir, no sir guy. Known, Leslie, as a very quiet man. And unfortunately, couldn't contain himself in. And got tagged with a T, and of course, that counts as a person. I think that was a little more than yes, sir. Yeah, I think you'd agree, <laughs> Leslie. Here's Olander. No, into the hands of Chase Tapley. I, I don't know if you want that shot off to timeout. Malcolm Thomas, number four. Steps. Oh, got away with it. There's a block. This Here's is Kemba where Walker. No numbers here. Well, he doesn't care. <laughs> Doesn't need them, does he? Oriaki travel. Get the latest gear for your team at the official store of the NCAA and find great hoops merchandise at NCAA.com slash shop. Jamal Coombs McDaniel has come on the floor number four for the Yukon Huskies. Now he's a kid that can really get to the rim, gives him some more flexibility. Inside screen. They run some nice stuff. You would expect that from Steve. Malcolm Thomas. Good job by Oriaki just keeping a little belly move there to keep him out of the lane. Look Oscar at this. Smith, a little runner, no, and this fires again. Look at this kid. Walker and a pass. Foul call as the block is made. Vern, you talk about All-American. It's not about the jump shots. It's about leadership. This tells more to his teammates about how much he wants it. Almost gets an assist like a bowling ball pass. Interesting. Uh, 
Bill, because last week we did see BYU. Dave Rose told us that one of the keys in their first round, the second round win, uh, was when Jimmer Fredette mm -hmm. dived for a loose ball, got it, got it into the hands of a teammate. And, and he came into the huddle and he had an abrasion on his yep. knee, too. And they said, well, if he's offering up that blood, why can't I? Oriaki. Rebound, Malcolm Thomas. Well, one thing that some of your Saints been doing is getting the ball inside at will. That could be a concern as this game continues. Billy White. DJ Gay. He played all 50 minutes of the overtime win against Temple in the third round game. Gay. Floater, no. Tip. Rahan gets it back. Jumper Gay. Those are the ones you got to get. Those long rebounds advantage the offensive team. Walker, UConn can take the lead. They put together a great run here at the end of the season. They won their last seven, five in a row in the Big East tournament to capture that. And then their first down, first two. How about that, Florida? Jeremy Lamb, my goodness. Ooh, a little kiss. That'll help compensate for Kemba Walker's 0 for 4 start. Yeah, he's pulled the string on a couple as well, so he's just got to get himself relaxed a little bit. UConn with the lead, 9-8. As we near the 13-minute mark, Ray Hahn, nice pass. The basket, Malcolm Thomas. A nice little turnout. Pinned down, the ball by Ray Hahn, and a give back. Solid play. Walker. We'll go back to the free throw line. He bounces back. I know he's struggling early, Vern. His understanding of the game. He gets himself in tough position. Usually a great finish around the rim, but they have a lot of size. This is that step through Walt Frazier that he does so well. Gets you up in the air, off and attracts a body. Well, a great start and a great finish to the season for Kemba Walker. And there are three wins in Maui, which you saw mm -hmm. back in November. He had 90 points in their three victories, and then that amazing run through the Big East, 130 points in five games. Maui was easy. It was only three days. Yes, right. <laughs> we could go out five days. Well, we might be able to, but uh, to, the way he played in New York and put this team on his shoulder, and everybody's gotten better. And Jamal said that's the difference in his team. Better defensively, guys have grown. Jeremy Lamb comes to mind. Charles of Kwandu is on now for UConn, and Malcolm Thomas is off for San Diego State as uh, Steve Fisher's team has two men with two fouls. Mm -hmm. Malcolm Thomas and Kawhi Leonard. Hello, bangs underneath, gets some offensive rebounds. There's a nice little touch. I would look for him to be used on ball screens on the other end by UConn. Same play, little turnout. This is Brian Carlwell, the 300 pounder. Gay, nice help by Aquando. It sure was. With both these teams. So yeah. solid. Shabazz Napier is on also now for Yukon. There's Carwell. Tough shot. Fade the way. It's a lot of weight to bring sideways. <laughs> no reflection on any company. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Good eye on the floor to make jumpers. And Yukon having trouble finding the basket. That's going to be an offensive foul. I think Neil Five. Good five. It's a G I F F E Y. And I was uh, informed by my partner early on, it ain't Giffy. <laughs> we were calling him Giffy early in the year, and he told Tim Tollickin, the PR man for SID, of course, in college, he called him that uh, it's really Giffy. Uh, you know, no. He didn't want us to offend anybody back at home. Reminds me of a story that's 30 years old. Yesterday he was Dorset. Today he's Dorset. Well, he can't run like that. No, 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 not at all. Likes to come back. Good job. David, that right shot. He can he shoot. He can it. shoot. Can he ever? Wow. Santa Clara transferred back down. And he can drill him, and there's a toughness. He's just not a pretty face. He gets down and dirty. <laughs> Rayhan, there's a foul. I think it may be Day. You like this? Stretching the D, the big guy salivating a little nylon on the West Coast. Pretty weather, too.
All right, Greg, thank you. It's uh, a 13-10 game here. Yeah, this is where it's dangerous, I think, because Walker plays off the ball. Napier, terrific running, penetrating, good handle, spins, drop steps, and not afraid to stick deep ones. So we got Billy White on Napier. 2-3 now, right? They just uh -huh. switched it. Jamal Franklin is on the floor. He did pick up the last foul. And that foul's going to be called in the Aztecs. Is it White? I, I'm not sure. Well, it was a discard. It is Billy White. Yes. Yeah. A little discard underneath. Dooms McDaniel going out. And Roscoe Smith back on for UConn. And Roscoe can stretch the D for him. Dooms McDaniel more of a penetrator. Napier's got it. Number 13. Good cut. Oh, that was beautiful. Uh, he's so tough off the ball. You can't relax. He's got great footwork and balance. Nice dive to the 10. There's a little slice cut to the box. And now a double on the left. Pretty play. Ray Hahn again. Looks like he got a uh, hand in his face from Lamb. Maybe got Napier. And just the great uh, understanding of step and cut. You just relax a little, lose your balance, move up, and a pretty good defender in Franklin. And yet, clever anticipation. 13-12, Jim Calhoun looks on. He's been smiling the last month. Yeah, he's been a happy guy. Why not the way they're playing? Oh, my goodness. He'll get over it, though. Ah. Uh, he'll see something just... wrong. They love that play. Winner on the floor now. Gay, that's off the mark. So, DJ Gay misses again from long range at the other end. Here's Walker. Dish to Lamb. Rahan on him. Good defense by Rahan. And a nice bailout pass. You're right. Well, both these teams, terrific at both ends of the floor. San Diego State has bought in to let's guard, create turnovers, get rebounds and runouts, and the bigs can dribble it. So they're very effective in the open floor. Napier. There's Farwell to help. And it is going to be San Diego State ball. Coverage of the Division I Women's Basketball Championship continues Saturday on ESPN. Regional semifinal action gets underway at noon Eastern as the Lady Balls battle the Ohio State Buckeyes in the Dayton Regional. For more information on other matchups and games, go to NCAA.com. Nice cross and is their squeeze play. And we'll see that later in the Duke game, too. Kawhi Leonard is back on the floor. He sat for just about seven minutes with two fouls. The unquestioned star of this team, I think. And uh, so Steve Fisher is going to roll the dice, playing with two. Uh, he really does a nice job. Solid kind of a kid, too. Works hard. There he is. <laughs> He's, got some He's got some activity, doesn't he? Don't tie him down on the pine. Let him rise. Leonard with six. There's fade screen. Jumper, yes. Now, I think they're going to make Caldwell move. They did it twice now. They appear once and they coughed it up. Kimball Walker now has six points. Here's Caldwell. And Aquandu, wow. Oh, oh my gosh. I thought he forced the issue. You can't. Got away with it. Or the big fella. Or you think? <laughs> Let uh, me in. What do you mean, last call? Gar <laughs> Carlwell, who began his collegiate career at Illinois. See how they try and ice it on one side yep. of the floor. Steve telling us both yesterday, particularly with Walker, contain him, don't let him switch sides. Baseline bumps for Lamb. Five in the shot clock. I don't know if he realizes it. Way outside. Woo! Of course he did. I had it all the way, coach. That's unconscious. Pull that number once more. Oh, my gracious. Tied at 17. They be a really good defensively. Sets you up for steals, too. Leonard with the cup. They go the other direction, and the foul is called. 
Well, late in the shot clock, you usually want a good look if possible. Well, Lamb chased out further in this pasture, drilling it a little nylon from deep. Okay, Greg. Well, we saw Fredette remain scoreless for the first eight minutes the other night. And what did he get? 34? Unbelievable. He, he yeah. played a little bit like Parker where he works his way into the game. And it, as Greg knows in the studio, and this Florida State team guards. And the women's club has been magnificent. Well, there is an issue. Uh, there might, yes, we're told there is blood on the floor. So we've got to get that cleaned up. And the white one. He, you mentioned he came back in the game and was so aggressive on the one play but he's a blow by guy he's good around the rim strong delivery senses the opportunity and seizes it and trusts by steve to put him in with the two raised by a single mom kim robertson uh, he had a relationship with his father mark and uh, tragically his dad was killed three years ago shot and killed uh, at the car wash that he owned and uh, the next day the day after the shooting why Leonard went out and scored 17 points for Martin Luther King High and Riverside against Compton Domingo. So let's get Leslie in here for an update, Les. Hey, Vern. Charles Aquando was hit in the mouth, and right at the moment, uh, the team physician, Jeff Anderson, just stitched up his mouth, and hopefully he'll be ready to go, Vern. I'm kind of glad that he stood in front of him so we didn't have to watch it. It's like us at supper last night. <laughs> a lot of loose arms, but they are really going after it under the rim, though. Both clubs, sensational. Billy White at the line. Oops. White is 74% free throw shooter. And Bert, you had a blast during that game during the year, didn't you? It was, BYU. Yeah, it was BYU at San Diego State. I got to do it with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. It's the best atmosphere I've seen in a college game all year. Just a, a passing comment. I missed the show, the kids. Who were, there were 3,000 strong, and the signs were the most creative I think I've ever seen. I just made the point, I wonder if they banned signs. No. Well, the kids don't have the tickets here. It's the uh, the guys with thicker wallets. And uh, so the show is not that much in evidence to me. Well, nice job defensively right now. Senior Donnell Beverly is in. Number two, there's the crossover. Walker, too strong. Leonard No. DJ Gay has it. And we can see UConn stressing, get back, make them run their half court offense. Chase tap left to oh. oh, he missed it. But he gets his own miss, and Malcolm Thomas puts it in. He left too early defensively. And Thomas gets a reprieve on that one. Here's Walker again. Two for seven so far. This is where they need some help, I think. Oh, 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 a bit of a wild yeah. shot, wasn't it? And the Here's numbers. Thomas. Nice patience. Billy White. They can get out and bite you. Oh, the show is here. Just up a little higher. You know what? You're right. They're up in the third balcony. Another steal. White, out of control. Gay, no. Well, nice deflection, but you must get back. And right here, the rotation is too early. Oriaki leaves. No rotation from the top. Fortunate. And this is normally a dunk, the way they run the floor. And Walker could not get his hand up big enough, but White is sensationally open floor. He's got a great feel, great speed, tough around the rim. Malcolm Thomas is going to get a rest. Let's check the five and the four now for Steve Fisher of San Diego State. Carlwell, James Rahan is back out there. Leonard, Chase Tapley, and out. On front picking up Kimball Walker right now is Billy White. That was Billy White. Got size. Oriaki works on Carwell in close. Yes. That's a little nice. Yep. A little step closer. Oh, should be able to bounce him out of with that big belly. For UConn, we've got Oriaki, Jeremy Lamb, Kemba Walker, Chad Shabazz Napier. 
With that little French screen and roll by the big guy. Uh, there's a chippy on Jeremy Lamb. That's his second. Uh, to play post defense, you got to do homework early. You can't let a guy settle in and bounce. No help from the top. And he has developed that terrific little release. So the earlier ones weren't as pretty. Five team fouls on UConn. Jump for no. Roscoe Smith with the rebound. Shabazz Napier, the freshman. Jeremy Lamb. Well, he has really gotten confident with that dribble. Creates nice crossover. I think when you watch Walker, you really understand how to beat your guy in individual skills. Jeremy Lamb at the line. The foul was called. Taplin. That's his first. Watch the games again. Live box scores, stats, and social media updates with NCAA March Madness on demand. For all this and more, head to mmod.ncaa.com. Substitution now for both for Yukon uh, Coombs McDaniel on the floor. And Shelton comes on for the Aztecs of San Diego State. I've heard that name before. Shelton, yeah. Yeah, yeah. where? He's going on. Old Oregon State was with the Knicks, played a long time in the NBA. That's where he's gotten better, but I don't think the timing was good for that. You know, he's gotten better, but he's still hitting 29% from beyond the road. Yeah, he's so demanding. I know that. That's his game. Roscoe. Stitches on the right. Put the right eye. Put the big rebounds and drilling it. UConn by two. 445 to go. Going around scissor play. Old Celtic and in the ball screen. Seven unanswered for the Huskies. Fade away. Dick Farwell, too strong. And it's taken by Oriaki. Here's Dick Napier, Walker, three. Got to get it to him. That's the one thing. Occasionally, they forget who they're playing alongside. Napier realizes he's the stud. Give it to him. He can fill it. He's out of the game. Kimball Walker, nine points so far, but he's gotten some help. Well, and, and, and Brooke has he learned to defer to stars, like I do with you. And Napier recognizes this ability. Now, look at this form. That is picture perfect. You're aimed right at the front of the rim, the follow through. Bill Bradley like the name out of the pass, mm. but giving it up at the right time. So key and essential for good offense. Ten on answer for the Huskies of Utah. This is Malcolm Thomas. Kicks it back out to Rayhorn. No shot there. Now Thomas. Nice ball. Oh, beautiful underneath. He really is good. I mean, the more you watch this kid, you get your long shots. Can step out a little, the turnaround jumper. Big block against Tepper. Yes, huge block at the end of the game. He had four blocks in that game. Too late. Here's Walker. You got to be ready. And run the double on the foul line. No preparation defensively. He can give you a headache. UConn now five of eight from three-point land. Well, he knows Rayon can beat it. There's the answer. That's the guy, too. Tapley got to get back. Chase Tapley for three. And the margin is three. Coombs McDaniel. Kimball Walker. Another one. A little Run too big. Yeah. A little too big. He feels it, though. You've got to give him that license. Tapley in the corner of the Ray Hall. Baseline, the man's open. Off the glass. No, not off the glass. Look at it. Rebound, Billy White. Loose ball. Outside. Picked up by Kawhi Leonard. Tapley's open. Look at that. Bad pass. Two on one. Hello. He's amazing. He body searches, so you've got to give ground. It clears an opportunity for him. We'll give it up as well. Great anticipation on the D on a cross court pass. Another turnover. Here's Walker. San Diego gets back quickly this time. Nice space dribble. 
Left, no right. Short. Short again. How about to put back the second time? Great effort by the big guy. Powerful learning and growing. Just a little lesson early in the year when Jimmy didn't start him. And all of a sudden, I think he's just stepped up his game. He's got talent. Expand upon it. Largest lead by either team in the first half. San Diego State went up by five. And UConn answered with ten of its own. Now they stretch the lead from five to seven. 95 seconds to go before the break. Rejected. Uh, well, can, this run fueled by Kemba Walker. You got to be a hip hugger. I know you wore them in the old days, but a double screen, he's out, he's relaxed, and watch him go right at 11. Stick it in, finish, top in the open floor. Both teams have hit 12 field goals. UConn much better from beyond the arc. UConn's Kemba Walker with 14 points. Kawhi Leonard sat for about six minutes with two fouls. He's picked up six. And a reminder, as we head to halftime, that over on TBS, Brigham Young and Florida are contesting each other in the Sweet 16. And that game uh, has a Florida lead. And here's Tapley at the end of the uh, shot clock. And Napier grabs it. And, yeah, they are really running their stuff beautifully. A lot of doubles, a lot of well, Here's a double high. One picks, one, one rolls, and one pops. Roscoe Smith. Front rim, knocked out of bounds, hit last by Thomas. Coming up on at t at the half, Greg Gumbel, Greg Anthony, Kenny Smith, and Charles Barkley will take you out for a live look at BYU Florida on TBS. They'll have the latest tournament news, a Naismith watch presented by at t That's all coming up on at t at the half. I know the guards are enjoying this play by Walker at the studio. Yes. Charles will be saying, get it up front. <laughs> There's that double it. You got the jumper earlier. P better reaction. Hug hugging it. Walker. Pump fake. Tapley shadowing him now in the final 42 seconds of the first half. This is Napier. He'll take the jumper. Wow. And he will can it. That is inside the arc. That's for two. He's unafraid, this kid. I mean, he will take big shots. Great compliment to Kemp in the backcourt. Well, this is where he's tough. You got to be careful with your dribble. He sets you up beautifully. Late ball screen. Got to stay, stay at home on the wings. Here's Gay. A little too strong. Rebound UConn. Bay will get the last shot. Here's Walker at the buzzer. Oh! Does that remind you of Gordon Haywood? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Absolutely. No bank, though. No. <laughs> that on. Uh, my gosh, what a first half for Kemba Walker. The All-American lights it up for 14. And it's halftime. UConn has its largest lead. They scored 10 unanswered after trailing by five. And let's go to Leslie Visser with Jim Kelly. Thanks. Thanks, Vern. Coach, uh, Kemba started two for seven, and then he lit it up. What changed in the defense or his offense? Well, no, actually, Jamie Lamb and some of the other guys making shots got them off Kemba a little bit. What do you see, or what will you tell your team for the second uh, half? we got to play better because we're not going to make three threes in a row, deep threes as we did, and one is a shot clock. So we've got to play better defense. Uh, they're posting us up and missing those shots, but I'm scared about the post-ups. Well, it was impressive so far. Thanks, Coach. Vern. Leslie, thank you. UConn ends the half. On a 19-5 run, we'll send you to AT&T at the half. After these messages, you're watching the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship. UConn ends the half on a 19-5 run. They're up 36-27. Leslie Visser just a moment ago with SDSU coach Steve Fisher. Coach, you did a real good job on Kemba Walker in the beginning. He was two for seven. Then he had a lot of open looks. What did you talk about at halftime? We talked about staying consistent, staying strong together. Uh, they made some, some hard shots and they made some open shots. They went on a 10 to nothing run on us and we contributed to that with uh, turnovers, maybe quick shots. Got to do a better job on all of that. This is a good team we're playing, but we've got 20 minutes to, uh, to make amends. And you're a dangerous team. Thank you, Coach. Vern. Leslie, thank you. Steve Fisher celebrating his 66th 
birthday today, and uh, he'd like a birthday gift. They need you to play that. Well, you know, he, he, they got the ball inside. I think they've got to keep doing it. Maybe some ball screens get their bigs away from the hoop. Well, San Diego State is 5-1 and one this year when trailing at the half. This game is brought to you in HDTV by LG. Life's good. Yukon, nearly 3,000 mile trip out west. But the West has been very, very kind to the Huskies. Three times out of six trips west, they've gotten to the Final Four twice. They have won the national title. 1999-2004. Winner of this one goes into the Elite Eight. Very important, I think, Leonard get involved. Don't get fouls. Be solid and particularly attack the tip. DJ Gay scoreless from the point in the first half. Entry pass to Leonard. They do not double. He goes up and under. Then the help comes. And he misses his first shot. Can't beat that shot, though. Not a convert. Kemba Walker, Roscoe Smith, Jeremy Lamb. Lamb the double figures. Here's Walker. They got the concentrate early. He's very relaxed and into this game now. You can work hard on him. Make him force a couple. Maybe get yourself some runouts. That one rolls off the rim. Four, three, spot up three. They need it. They got it. That's the urge they need. Early offense, so important to this team. DJ Gay, the senior point guard. More known for his lack of turnovers than anything else. Well, how about that? He yes. got rid of the defender. Great use and heavy. Kathleen no rebound. Walker for Utah. Well, you got to show on Walker on these screens. You got to string him out. Good screen for Moriaki. Now he's got what he wants, though. He yeah, can switch. Right. Yep. Got the mismatch. Give it back to him. From the corner, no, air ball. DJ Gay, Billy White to the right. Chase Tapley for three. Oh, you gotta get back. Ball. You gotta get back defensively. What a masterful use of the off arm, using the defense, just a quick release because you freeze the attacking blocker. White, yes. yes. Like that little left jump hook. You've got to force him back baseline. Pick your poison with him. That raises the boys level a little. Walker takes Leonard to the basket off the ground. Well, he's amazing, isn't he? He's got different gears. He's got a great pace to his game. DJ Gay. Thomas hit the deck. Whoa, what a save. DJ Gay, Malcolm Thomas. Boy, there are some quick guys out there, brother. Terrific effort, knowing where people are. Great play by Gay. Booms <laughs> McDaniel, number four. Walker 15, Chase Tapley's got it. Nice little curl, great defense. Oriaki off the rim, dipped into the hands of Billy White. Once in a while, Oriaki starts the shot with his hand off the ball and rolls into the palm, doesn't get good technique. Oh, Gay kicks right three. No. Got a pace that's been uh, oh, intensive. Huh? A start the garden if you're going to win this. Both sides. Nice. See how he gets rid of guys with that off arm. Kathleen back out only. Jump stop. No. Rebound. Thomas. DJ Gay. Don't go individual. Run your stuff. They've been able to get good touches. There's Kathleen. Quick pass inside. Thomas. Oriaki, who played the first half with no fouls. Nice! The margin is four. 
getting the ball too easily. Post touches, they're going to kill you. Does this sound familiar to you? It does. Lamb. Oh, oh, beautiful. He's got great technique, this kid. Floats around, nice and easy, loping style. And for the moment, that quiets the crowd. UConn, of course, came 3,000 miles. San Diego State came 93.25 miles. Hour and a half up the freeway. Well, in this city. Could be a couple hours. Yeah, that's about three. Well, Thomas should give him a screen there. He dishes after the block to Moriaki, and one. I don't know who he keeps looking at over there. Thomas pointing at the crowd, but right now, he's pointing at UConn's direction. They're finding him, whether it's a jump hook or competing on the glass. Solid effort by the big guy. Better D by UConn. All righty. Who'd have thunk it on Selection Sunday when Richmond got two teams into the tournament? The Big East got 11. Oh, both 2010 finalists still alive, Duke and Butler, and 10 different conferences are in the Sweet 16. Here's Chase Tapley. Malcolm Thomas at the line. I was telling Bill during the break before that uh, much ballyhooed BYU San Diego State uh, match in San Diego, 3,000 fans stayed up or in the parking lots for three days to get tickets, student tickets for the event. Mm -hmm. Malcolm Thomas and DJ Gay went out the night before the game and spent three hours going through and thank you. It was a nice gesture. Very nice style. And Thomas uh, really doing a nice job now on the offensive end. That three catches the first half but didn't make it. Now he's taking advantage of the shot D. Walker backs it out. The margin is four. It was nine at halftime. By Thomas. He is alert. Shabazz Napier. Copley's got to stay at home on Walker Boca. Down to the wire here. Rebound Leonard. Once again, they're going in. Thomas. He's got that jump hook or face up jump hook. Kicks it. That's for three. Gay filling it up 35% from three. He and Tapley unabashed from deep. There's a thank you to the student section. Gay's got six all in this half. It's a one point game. Good Calhoun wanted a slow set this trip. They will stagger. Lamb guarded by Leonard. Down to five. Over the backboard. Let's take a look at DJ Gay's jumper. Now the kick out by Thomas. Great presence. Gorgeous looking form and stroke. And then Kinetic comes down the other and they run a stagger for Walker. And Jeremy Lamb tries to go on his own instead of running the play. I think that'll draw the ire of the ever lovely mentor. No smiles for Jim Calhoun right now. 25th year as the head coach at UConn. Steve Fisher in his 12th year as the head coach at San Diego State. Hired by Rick Bay, the former athletic director. Recommended by Bill Frieder. Steve Fisher was, of course, an assistant to Frieder at Michigan. The jumper, no. Air ball into the hands of Roscoe Smith. And here comes Jumbo Walker. He uses the nice play by taken away from behind. DJ Gay leads the way. Beverly with the foul. Good giveaway. Interestingly enough, what Kemba does, the flow of the run down the floor by both offense and defense, he hides behind, but never realized DJ was behind them. And here, just a solid play on both ends of the floor. That back draft, so effective. One more, and it will be for the lead. Speaking of, Wednesday on Survivor, 
making the basket could make the difference in winning this challenge on a new Survivor Wednesday only CBS. I'd love to see you crawling under that rope. I'd, I'd pay for that. And right now, UConn would pay to get a good look. Great defense right now by San Diego State. Walker, money. They ran the play. When well, they run their stuff, he does some magic. But you got to go to him when he is free. Leonard, kick out. Three, no. Knocking Thomas offensive board. It that's, was Tapley who missed it. That's when they're dangerous on that kick out on the offensive glass. I think Oriaki. They got Oriaki. Yeah, the reach in. He's looking to get some help on that particular play. But just great use. Just great understanding of where the play is coming from. And just giving it to them. Now they had run a double earlier and they forced the shot. This time realize the right move. Given the choice between Moriaki and Donnell Beverly, they gave the foul to Donnell Beverly. Ooh. Well, the Beverly family won't be happy, no. but the UConn family will be. Leonard tempted by that three. Much more wisely decides to drop off the glass. Two more. Wow, foul by Leonard, too, I think. Well, this would be intriguing if it is. It'll be his third. Well, he's got great strength when he turns to the rim. And I thought Jeremy Lamb should have stayed in the lane to help. He faked and recovered. And I believe that this end was at number three, Bert. It was number three. Now, interesting. Steve Fisher's going to leave him on the floor. Last week in the game against Temple. No, he's not. Rayon's going to Billy White picked up his third foul in the Temple game after two minutes were gone in the second half. And so Leonard will sit as Rahan comes on. Billy White stayed in the game and never picked up another foul, played all the way through the overtime. He's got a better power. Double of, overtime. Yeah, a better power of persuasion. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you know, there's a trust too. Uh, Leonard a little maybe more aggressive. So Kawhi Leonard picked up his second foul after four minutes of one in the first half. He gets number three here. Thomas. They know he can shoot. Malcolm Thomas. And they're going to get Roscoe Smith for the foul. That's his second. 45 all. 11.58 to go. All right, Greg Gumbel, thank you. And a comparison of how the two stars are faring tonight. Jimmer Fredette, who faced the San Diego State team three times with 13 points thus far. Kimber Walker has 20. Nice move. Billy White double team. Doesn't matter. Oh my goodness. Not this made whatsoever. He's a tough kid. Now Walker. White has 11, five for five. Lamb goes by Rahon. Pumps nice it. Pass. Oh, what a cut. What a cut is right, Vern. That's terrific. Great synchronization there. DJ Gay weaves his way through. Got a double team and kicks it out to Rayhan who misses. You dodge one when that kid misses. Oh, he's doing out there. Yes. Good call. Sure was. He's normally under control. That time stepped it up full speed. Couldn't hear it down. Right here, normally he's got full control. He jukes you generally, just couldn't get by. Good setup defensively. That is the first for Kemba Walker. It was Jamal Franklin who took that charge. And a good defender. Billy White, jumper. The tip, yes! Jamal Franklin on cue. He is quick. This kid's got great reactions, and that time, wonderful read. And he's also got the responsibility again of guarding Kemba Walker. Yeah, well, he's having a little trouble staying up with Lamb. Nice rebound. Save. Outside, Walker. Almost lost it. Gets it back. Jeremy Lamb has it. Look how quickly Walker comes for the ball, though. Franklin trying to force him right where he has help. In and out. Chase down in the corner. DJ Gay, San Diego State. Oh, 
Well, they got it the other way. How about that? Roscoe Smith right there with the good hands. It was close to Check the hands on this one, Byron. If it was straight up over the cylinder. Wow, that's awfully close, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I think he got away with it. Mm -hmm. Goes straight up in the air. The width of the rim. Still a great play, though. Yeah. Lamb. Ankle breaker. Please stop. He, he's got Walker's move in five more inches. They have not been able to get a third score, you kind of part of the problems. Tied at 49. Gay off the glass. He's oh. Offensively, he's come alive in the second half. He turned it over. Billy White, two more. Billy White, two more. Now Jim Calhoun's not going to wait. As we were going to commercial, take a look at Jamal Franklin, number 21, and Kemba Walker. A little right shoulder blown, and the officials immediately went to the monitor, and they are still looking at it, as a matter of fact. Now, they're not decided. They're going to bring the coaches together and explain it to them as to what they're going to call. So, Jim Calhoun awaits the arrival of Steve Fisher. He doesn't uh -oh. like it. It's going to be a technical. Yes. Well, we've looked at it a couple times. And, and, and upon the third or fourth viewing, it looked like Franklin might have lowered his right shoulder. Well, Walker was not looking at him, and he did go backwards. We're going to get an explanation. It was unnecessary. You're playing well. We're going to get here from Patrick. Dead ball contact technical foul on Jamal Franklin. Unnecessary though, when you think Absolutely. of it. Absolutely. Starting to get a little flow. You got the whole house in an uproar. Tim Walker gets one more. He hurts you when the whistle when the play is dead, Walker. Think That's about it. The second unsportsmanlike technical tonight. Had one called on Kawhi Leonard mm -hmm. in the first half. Two. One more time. Happened as Jim Calhoun called timeout. And he was looking at this way. This way, I think he could have avoided it. And you see the reaction by Walker. Smart, selling it, but unnecessary by Jamal. Would you agree? I do agree. Don't want to give away easy points. You've been playing great defense, getting the ball inside. 28 points down there under the hoop. It's only 16 for UConn. The margin now two. Kimball Walker guarded by Franklin again. Off the front rim for Y Leonard. Keeps control. This is DJ Gay. Now Leonard's got Walker. Now they switch. He's a perimeter guy. Billy White, fade away. I don't know about that. No, one. no, 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 no. Thomas with a shove. Let's go to Leslie Visser. Hey, Vern, just quickly, let's do think they are protecting the star, Kemba Walker. When official Tom O'Neill came over to the bench, he was told, he said, it was Kemba, it was Kemba. He did not know until then. All right, thank you, Leslie. Leonard. No hands, yep. Good call. McDaniels with the reach in, play great defense, just got to keep position. Don't Alabama reach in. 16 foul now, Bird. Next one will be one of one. Eight. Yep, 40 left, too. Only two team fouls thus far in the half on San Diego State. White. Another one. One and one now. One and one. I think Roscoe Smith with the reach in. 
That's three on White. Billy White at the line. Support disaster relief efforts to help those affected by the Japan earthquake and Pacific tsunami. Text Red Cross to 90999 to give $10. CBS cares. White with one more. Could really bring some energy to the game. Interesting, Thomas. McDaniel was not ready for the check out. He went right across the line. You got to be alert. Good game. Individual stuff lately. They got away from what they were running, getting into the box. Jeremy Lamb has 17 points. Well, he's got a variety of releases. This one, a little kiss in sunny California. All right, Greg, thank you. Steve Fisher in the Infinity Coaches Spotlight, 89 national champion at Michigan, and celebrating his 66th birthday today. Oh, how good was that? The left hand adjustment. They're going to do a better job for the mistake. He's hitting the elbow and getting the, the pass. You've got to fight over the top, force it to cut and not get it. UConn back on top by one. Kawhi Leonard. Oh boy, the elbow. That, that good call, man. Huh? And he got caught. A little flip. That's his fourth. Making adjustments in traffic. He just body searches beautifully. Kemba Walker realizes if he goes right, he's going to get it blocked but right here. The old fashioned Tavern break this guard. He didn't need it, really. And a good call. Yeah, it was. Yeah, you bet. Like right in front of the official. And now he has to sit with his fourth foul with 7.15 to go in the ballgame. Rayhan is on for Leonard. Nice, Walker, even nicer. See, when, when he goes off the ball, he's tougher to go. It's just a nice pop out. Gay and Tapley, Thomas White, and Rahon for the Aztecs. 34 and 2 for the year. That's off the mark, long rebound. Look at ball is up, Billy White. Boy, they are elevated. He's got a little hops. No. Chase Tapley, short with a shot, here comes UConn. Shabazz Napier, looking there, I didn't think. In the corner, UConn ball. It's crazy when you watch UConn, you almost think Walker should have it every trip, to make the decision as to what's done. Uh-huh. Well, talking to Kyle Muncie there. Sports Information Director Mike May is a counterpart for San Diego State. Kyle said this has been a year of the unexpected. They went out to Maui back in uh, November, won three. Two went Wichita State. They beat Michigan State number two at the time and won the title. And then this run that they're currently on, they've won their last seven in 12 days. Jeez. And that's he, he crosses the switch for. Part of what you're saying is that kid has made this season become what it is thus far for UConn. He's a pretty good player, Bill. Not, but, you know, he's got to work on his range, though. Stick it! Nyla, deep! In the first half, UConn went on a 10-0 run to erase a deficit. But take a look now. They've scored the last nine. And it's been fueled by Kevin. He really knows how to move, get himself free. He's got to be a great dancer because he's got balance, the ability to get people up, step through, he's got strength, knows how to finish at the rim, and he smiles like Vern Lundquist. Ah. 
<laughs> Here's Gay. Leonard's back on with four fouls. No sense in wasting his effort now and leaving it on the bench. Malcolm Thomas got mm -hmm. the basket. Really pretty play. Just a nice little set. Thomas has been magnificent, I think. Just a little cross screen. He slips. And a wonderful catch from behind his ear. But that's what you need for the big, good interior work. And they are sensational passing in traffic. Ouch. If you're an Aztec. Napier, Walker, Lamb. Oriakis out there. Now, this is tough for a guy. He's going look at this. I thought he was going to. I did. I thought he had that one more bounce in him. How quick was that move? Got to come get it. Now you see him. Now you do not. He doesn't want anybody in this trip. This is when he dances. Put the lights out. He'll go to the line. Very clever. Gets that balance and all of a sudden jukes you. Your weight is moving upward. He's going by. Worth going alongside. There's a lot of the scouting preparation recommending how they handle situations. Walker. This will be his 11th 30th point game, 30 point game of the season. He's got it. Next Thursday on CSI, all bets are off during one wild night in Vegas. All new CSI next Thursday, only CBS. Earlier this season, Kemba Walker scored his 10th 30 point game. That broke the tie with Les Balasukia, who scored his nine 30 points. Good foul. Good foul. Foul called on DJ. But <laughs> Napier wants an intentional. Yeah. Oh, these kids are so alert. Uh, that's the ability to move your feet by Napier. He sets you up for those pilfers. Pilfer? Wow. I was from a tough neighborhood. <laughs> a pilfer? <laughs> I love it. I'm trying to dress up thievery. <laughs> Here's Napier. Here's the pop out and the hand. Dribble exchange. Wow. Yeah. You can't deny him the touch. Great execution. But the more you talk to Jim Calhoun, he said other guys have gotten better. I think execution wise, they've gotten better on offense and defense. They have really stepped it up. Well, in the what have you done for me lately category, Kimball Walker has scored the last 14 points. He Jeremy need, Lamb picks up the foul. He doesn't need much of a, a breather either. I mean, no, he plays no. 40. Relentless. Knows how to rest on the floor. Averages 39 points per game. Coombs McDaniel is on the floor. Jeremy Lamb heads to the bench. Kawhi Leonard. Well, you think of two key moments in this second half. First, the technical foul on sportsmanlike on Jamal Franklin when he bumped Kendall Walker going to a timeout. And then Leonard picking up his fourth foul. Well, he didn't slip for that. You, you know, they sort of changed the tenor of the game, yeah. too, didn't it? The yeah. Inside, you kind of got some legs, got some spirit. Well, you made the point that, that it was Franklin who fueled a run by San Diego State that had given them the lead. And then it went away. Leonard shoots one more. The one thing that they do well, the guys in white, is they can pressure you. So we'll see good, solid man defense. They're just letting Kimba get the ball back at the other end, which is something that you're going to pay dearly for. In and out. Here's Walker. Gives it to Napier. So he likes playing off the ball. Uh -huh. He knows it's set for him. Same play. Oriaki wants a different play. Now he's a point guard. Picked up by Tapley. Screen by Oriaki. Walker. Nope. Offensive board. Roscoe Smith. But he bounced it on the line. It'll be San Diego State ball. 
with 4.01 to go. Now they should go back inside, San Diego State. They did a nice job giving Thomas the ball. He's been very effective. Gay slapped away cleanly. Timeout. Three minutes and 50 seconds to go. UConn with all of that experience. San Diego State, 34 and 2 for the year. We've got 350 to play. All right, great. Thank you. We're under four here in Anaheim. 350 remaining. And the pressure now to be applied by the Aztecs. Oh, oh, the other way around. Jumper, gay. A Back. foul. A chance for a four point play. Wow, is that changing dramatically? Terrific. They have a habit of inbounding and running around. And Gay, one of those guys, here he is with the little down screen, gets him, gets the puppy set, and drills it. And just a little tap. Wow. A little devil, do you, huh? Goodness, stay away after that team. Scoreless at the break. The senior. Oh, he missed. But there's White's pass. And the dish. Thomas is fouled. But Oriaki, I think, got it clean. But that's how nicely this team passes in the interior part of the floor. A great feel, recognition, hands available. Whew, is that a killer for UConn? That, that three-point shot, you've got to be prepared. This team is tough. They've not shot free throws well. Five of 11. Thomas has missed two. Make it oh, three. Goodness. And he has played terrific basketball. It's been thought of as an Achilles heel for this San Diego State team over the season. Not that good, but against Temple, nine for nine. Now Thomas with one more. They're 50% from the line tonight. And Vern, it's this end they're having trouble, particularly with Walker on a dribble exchange. They've got to go over the top, or they've got to trap it. I didn't mean Napier, I meant Walker. <laughs> Whatever, effective. And Bird, every time they want a basket, they run the dribble exchange, screen, collapse the D, and the little guy with the monster ticker, drain it consistently. Nylon from deep. They got another trap there if they want it. Shot clock at 10. Walker gets the screen. Oh, he it. did lose it. Nice help by White. And DJ Gay, very attentive. He usually cups this ball, but you can just see the terrific reaction helping one another. A wide runner. Nice ball take. Back outside the day. Oh, he's been torn in this half. And the margin is down to one. Terrific comeback. Walker really did a great job getting free. Short, little tired. San Diego State can take the lead. Don't be in a hurry to have. That's the way to organize a real point guard. DJ Gay gets a screen from Thomas. Leonard for the lead. Big rebound. Oriaki for UConn. And Jim Calhoun wants a timeout. He's looking for somebody not to hug, to talk to. A little conversation. We will get you current on the vitals here. UConn has the possession arrow. They've got one timeout left. They're, uh, they put San Diego State in the double bonus. And for the Aztecs, three timeouts left. Only five team fouls, and they got one to give. Vern, I think it's interesting now. Walker's played the whole game. That jump shot looked tired. 
I would think maybe he'll dominate the ball on top because anything Jukins guy use a ball screen, penetrate, finish, or pull up. Napier has it picked up by Gay. See if they do the dribble exchange again. Under two. Very tough. Walker's got it. Whoa. Close. Short. On the floor. Land for three. Gone up by four with 90 seconds to go. Oh, not a good one. Not a good one. Go to the well too often. Win the offense. A perfect trap here. Nice find over to Napier. Uh -huh. Now back to Walker. One ten remaining. They'll use a lot of clock now. Good Calhoun. A nice throw. And they want something late. Unless it shows early in a giveaway here. Nickel Dimer by Tapley. Jeremy Lamb with a huge. Without the big guy, he wouldn't be huge, though. How about this? Get the proper spot, stroke it, let it linger. Drill it. That was the sixth foul, isn't it? Oh, uh, Steve's got a timeout. The only change on the reset is the absence of one time out for San Diego State. Newcomb still with the possession arrow. 16 fouls now for San Diego State. So two changes. So it's very important, I think, we get it out of Walker's hands if you're San Diego State. Let somebody else dominate. He's so clever getting himself free. Now they can run a lot of clock here. They've got a full 35. I'm sure they'll hold it as long as they can. On any ball screen, I would trap it with Walker. Look at this. Tough getting it in. There's a perfect trap. One minute, one minute, one minute to go. Napier has it. Now Walker does. There's the safety valve. They just keep jab stepping. He's got the license to go early if a guy gambles. Under 40. Walker crossover. Ankle breaker. Yes, indeed. But he missed it. Leonard. Gay. Oh, stolen by Lamb. Here's Napier. He so unselfishly gives it to Lamb. Smart play. I would have dribbled it once, though, if I were Lamb. Leonard. Oh, big time. About these kids. Nobody packing the tag. Play big, coaches say. Put your hands up. Lamb on the run. Not too bad, huh? Unselfish by right, UConn. UConn still has the possession arrow. Both teams one timeout left. And you see the foul situation. 16.8 seconds remaining. Lamb with 12 and Walker with 20 have scored 32 of the 34 UConn points in this half. Yeah, full court pressure, big on the ball. And they're freeing the back court. See if somebody may step and go. Walker very good at getting free. Inbounds, Walker. Kids, he just understands. Yeah. I mean, that sprint, the timing. The first guy free against a press has to get the ball to you. Jeopardy in the five second ball. You know, we all saw him as a press. Mm -hmm. I thought he was good. Did you envision the no. kind of career? I didn't no. either. And, and you know, people told me this summer that I played against the national team, but that he really learned the game. They talked to the pros, got a great feel, understanding of how to run the point, how to play off the basketball. And there's plenty of time now, depending on what's done here. You need the quick hitters, quick push with the San Diego State. Walker is six of eight from the line. Thirty-five points in the game. <laughs> Seems a long time ago. He started out 0 for four from the field. But he, he's unfettered though. And he just has a great attitude back there. Push. You don't need the three right away now. Just push. 
Push and go to the rim. He can get those foul. Winner for three. There you go. Rebound Napier. Lamb tracks it down. There's the punctuation point. And this remarkable run for UConn continues. They've won eight in a row. The magical season for the Aztecs of San Diego State comes to an end. They wind up the year 34 and 3. UConn becomes the first team other than BYU to defeat them. And for those of you curious about how BYU is doing in the Sweet 16, we invite you to watch the conclusion of that game on TBS. UConn wins it. They've won eight in a row in the last couple of weeks plus. And UConn out of the West will take on the winner of Duke, Arizona. That game's coming up. The Bill Raftery and Leslie Visser and Lundquist will all come